Good day everyone, it's Grizz and Taffy. <laughs> We're doing something a bit different. Um, something's come up and uh, I'm very lucky, I'm very pleased to say, um, that someone's reached out to us and offered us a car basically. And I've got to say a massive, massive, massive thank you and a big shout out to drive Vauxhall in Western Supermare. Thank you guys, you've been absolutely amazing. A big shout out and a big thank you to Phil Grove. Uh, he is the service manager there. He contacted me uh, recently on one of the videos and said, because I, I made a vlog all about keeping the BMW, the double R, and uh, the need for a new car because our car, uh, the, our car is like knackered. Um, it's just, I've been repairing it and repairing it. I've had it for like three years. It's done like 320 odd thousand miles and it's just very tired. Uh, just like me, just like old Grizz. But <laughs> um, so yeah, we're off over to Drive Vauxhall in Western to see Phil and, and the crew. Phil has told me that, that there's three other subscribers uh, that work there. I've, I believe in the service department. I think they work in the workshop. Uh, big shout out to you guys. I'm looking forward to meeting up with you guys at some point and going for a ride out with you all. Um, yeah, so there's like four subscribers to our channel <laughs> at Drive Vauxhall in Weston. So, yeah, basically Phil reached out and said, look, if you're looking for a, a replacement car, let me know, I can hook you up and do you a good deal. And he's done us a cracking deal. Massive, massive thank you, Phil. Uh, really, really appreciate it. He's really looked after me and Taffy with this car. And uh, yeah, I, I feel very, um, very privileged and very lucky and thankful and grateful and everything and everything kind of groveling kind of, <laughs> Thing I can say. So we're gonna, we've literally, both Taffy and I have literally just finished work, sorted out Ronnie boy, and um, we've quickly jumped on the bike to get over to Weston, um, and I'm gonna drive it home. Um, yeah, brilliant, absolutely superb. I feel stoked actually. Um, it's not like, Grizz isn't really like a big car man, you know, I like my cars, you know, I guess if I had a lot of money I would buy a really, uh, well I don't know what I would buy actually, that's how much I am into cars, but um, basically uh, I'm getting a, a Vectra, <laughs> and it's a very nice Vectra, it's got full service history, very low mileage, I think it's like 55,000 miles, I'm being patient here and waiting, I'm not going to push my way in. Yeah, it's just a really, really cool car. It's a diesel. It's going to do like mega miles. My last diesel I got or had uh, did like 300,000 miles. So 55,000 miles is just nothing. It's just about ran in. And the guys there really looked after me. They really give it a good going over. Sent me a little video of it being checked out in the workshop. Spot on guys. Brilliant service. Brilliant little video. And um, yeah, massively appreciative, just making sure I've got my wallet. No, that's my phone, but yeah, quite everything. I'm hoping my GoPro doesn't jump off. I've kind of temporarily fixed it. I have used a little lanyard, as they call them, to stop it from flying away if it does come off, but I'm, I'm hoping it won't. But a steady drive over, a ride over, because I don't, I've got Taffy on the back, obviously. I don't want to lose this GoPro again. Can't afford it. Um, so yeah, off we go. Go and see a man about a car. Woohoo! Let's go. So also hottest day of the year today. It's like uh, oh, at one point in my van I seen hmm, what did I see? I think it was about 34, which really isn't that hot, is it? I think it was possibly even hotter than that. I think London was hotter. But yeah, so it's a little bit warm. Um, and a quick little update, I don't want to keep banging on about my health, uh, but I know some of you are interested, so I'll do a quick little update. I've had results back from the x-rays, that is all clear, so it looks like things like my heart 
and any possible tumours uh, it may be okay I'm off to the hospital again uh, next week beginning of next week going to go to rheumatology because I've got a lot of pain so hopefully we're going to get to the source of that and the problem the cause of it um, I think it's all flipping related though to be honest um, also went to the doctors and the doctor was like don't have your results yet and kind of should have had them really more or less um, and also told me that she thinks they didn't test me or do the the biopsy for the celiac disease which is just amazing because that means I now have to go back and have it done again it's not amazing it's just me being sarcastic so it looks like I'm gonna have to go back at some point and do it all over again um, yeah so I will try and pursue that a bit more when I'm at the hospital on um, next week sorry it's all a bit of a it's all a bit of a, a headache and a, a bit of a story so I'm not gonna go into it too much but yeah basically still waiting on results and yeah the x-rays are all clear but I might get some more answers next week I hope um, but yeah still still very slow to get answers to all these tests and stuff and start kind of moving forward with it I've had to go back on eating all my gluten and all this stuff I shouldn't be eating because as it turns out my doctor advised me wrongly to come off of gluten and change my diet apparently I've got to leave my diet completely alone until I've had a full diagnosis because there's more tests to run and I've, it's a bit of a pain because I've spent like in total about three weeks now changing my diet I lost 10 kilo then no five kilo sorry <laughs> and um, yeah I've put that back on again because I went as soon as I went back on the gluten I just like blew up like a balloon again so yeah that's quite frustrating but there it is it is what it is I just have to um, deal with it and get on with it as best I can um, so yeah there's that anyway that's enough of that no more talking about health let's get off down to drive Vauxhall and see the lovely people there and our new car I think I might even I might I might do a little kind of I might set the phone up and do a little bit of a, a drive home in it if I set it up before I set off then I can just leave it on record and talk to you and I'll edit it and kind of give you a little talk about the new car it's a bit uneventful it's not like some of these other channels where <laughs> it's not uneventful really because I'm really appreciative of it but like some channels are like oh I've got a new car dream car Lamborghini dream car Ferrari dream car you know some kind of stuff you know like that Grizz is going to be jumping in his Vauxhall Vectra 1.9 diesel it's not really quite the same effect is it but there you go that's the difference between little old Grizz and these other massive channels it's just little old me it's quite interesting actually as well Phil asked me how much money do I make uh, from, a, from a YouTube video and I said hold on I said let's be clear I said I'll tell you how much money I make per month and he was like no 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 I don't want to know like how much money you're making I just I'm just wondering how much money you make from a video and I was like mate I only make and this is in dollars it was five dollars I think it's like five to six dollars a month and he thought I was about to retire because I get thousands of views on my videos bless him and he was asking me how of ways he can kind of ensure I get paid which was lovely of him really appreciative of him uh, asking that but it's, um, it's just a bit of a losing battle, isn't it? Try, really trying to make money. I don't know if any of you have tried recently um, what it's, to see what it's like now. But yeah, you can put adverts on your video, but you make pence, you know, per video. But it's not about the money. It never has been about the money. It is about, I guess, just 
me sharing these things with you guys and having a bit of fun and that's what it is it's fun you know i enjoy it i love it i, I must do because i put a lot of time and energy and effort into it and it also it costs me money as well you know so whatever it's all good it's all good in the hood chris enjoys doing it taffy enjoys doing it as long as we enjoy doing it it will remain <laughs> I'd love to do so much more for you guys, um, but there's only so much I can do, sadly. But I will still continue to try to bring you fun stuff and as good a stuff as I can with what I've got. Anyway, that's enough. Let's get over to Drive Vauxhall in Western and see my new car. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> really excited because it may not break down on me like my other one was all the time. Anyway, let's go. So also, <laughs> another quick thing, Taffy is on the back because Grease is too afraid to go on the back. So hats off to uh, Taffy. Thank you Taffy for allowing Grease to ride your bike and not be, not be subjected to sitting on the back. I don't know really if Taffy would be comfortable riding me with me on the back. Um, so maybe it's best all round, I don't know. So this is the only way we can do it, is for me to ride out, Taffy on the back. Taffy ride home and Grizz drive his new car home, or our new car home. So yeah, that's why Taffy's on the back. much to entertain me. Right, we're nearly there. I've already been, I've already come out once and met Phil and seen the car and driven it and I'm really happy with it. So this is our second visit. I did do a little vlog coming out but I wasn't really happy with it so I filmed it again. So let's go get the car. See Bumpsy, drive Vauxhall. Western Supermare, here we are. Where's the car? There it is. There she is. Do you think you can drive that? No. No? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> Taff is also insured to drive it. She's about to pass her test. Well, not pass her test. She's going to uh, take her test. So, um, okay. Yeah, she's going to be learning to drive in it. Mm, looks really nice. It is nice, isn't it? Mm. Looks lovely. Proper job. Right, guys, we've got a car. Just stopped off to pick up a bit of food. Uh, Taffy is in tow. Let's get going. All right, all this is set up hands free and stuff, so I'm not going to use this, it's just going to record as I'm driving. Tap is, tap is running. Hope you can hear me, guys. Reversing. Oh, can she get off the drive? Just because I think the gas has run out. So um, 
Yeah, it's like the hottest day. It's actually not very hot now. It's um, it's about seven o'clock at night and 28 and a half degrees apparently. So anyway, let's let Taffy out of the junction. Carry on. So funny to be following Taffy in a car. So yeah, massive, massive, huge thank you to Phil, Phil Grove, service manager at Drive Vauxhall in Western. This is not a paid promotion and Phil said to me um, that uh, he hope it, 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 I didn't think like he's done this for us on the back of being able to get some kind of um, shout out or promotion for his company. Um, he says literally just done off his back of, of being nice and um, yeah I can totally totally see that. Uh, very genuine, really nice guy Phil and uh, yeah pleasure spending some time with him and I'm gonna um, gonna arrange a ride out with Phil and the guys because there's like four I think there's four subscribers, one in Bristol as well that all work for for Drive Vauxhall. So yeah, we're um, we're gonna do some ride out at some point. Off goes Taffy. like driving vlogs. Do you want to see Grizz do some more driving vlogs? Let us know. Anyway, <laughs> I think I've said enough. Probably look absolutely awful on this camera and I expect the image is shaky as hell. I will uh, endeavour to bring you more vlogs soon guys. Back on the bike and, uh, and out having more fun. I should try to get out over the weekend actually and get some more vlogs going. To uh, get some more material up on the channel. Um, and once again, a massive thank you to, to Phil and all the guys over at Vauxhall, Drive Vauxhall and Western Supermare. Your generosity is above and beyond. Uh, yeah, really uh, gobsmacked actually at this beautiful gesture. So thank you everyone. Um, a massive thank you to Phil. I know you said it doesn't not really done anything but you have you've made our day and uh, you've given us reliable transport and uh, saved us a lot of money so that is a massive thing to me and I appreciate it mate anyway over and out Grizz is over and out I'm gonna have to leave this recording now because I'm not gonna touch my phone while driving Layers. I was hoping the windows got air conditioning